got our Kickstarter up pretty quickly, and that was our our litmus test: is this going to work? And um, you know, we we hit our our Kickstarter goal within about three hours, um, and we ended up by the end of the month we had three thousand subscribers, paid subscribers, you know, cash in hand. Um, we're up to about thirteen thousand now after two years. Um, we've uh, we're up, actually up to fifteen full employees now. We've um, We've had some luck. Um, once we've shown that we can do this on a daily basis and, and be reliable and be trustworthy, we hope, um, we've had success going to charitable foundations and saying, listen, um, we're doing this, but what we really need is we need a reporter in, um, in South Shore. Um, we need a reporter in Uptown. And foundations have um, taken that to heart and said, okay, we'll give you some seed money. Um, we'll, we'll fund a reporter for a year or two. And then it's basically up to us to build up enough subscribers in that neighborhood or elsewhere in the city to pay them going forward. Um, so that's where the foundation support has really been crucial. Um, it's been our, sort of our growth strategy is to, is to get a little bit of money from them to support it. And then we can prove their value. It's, it's easy to prove the value of these reporters. They have a, a body of work that they can show that, you know, here are 200 stories that this reporter wrote last year that would not have been written without you, the Joyce Foundation giving us that seventy-five thousand dollars, you know, for every other year or uh, every year. Um, so that's been key. Um, I can't say enough about Report for America, um, which um, puts reporters in newsrooms. Um, they don't, you know, they certainly don't pay a full salary, but they can get you started. 